Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to correctly remove and replace rear coil springs on a Renault Traffic, Vauxhall Vivaro and Nissan Primestar. Let's not waste any time and let's get started. In order to remove this panel, you have these tabs here that you want to pull. And when you pull them down, this is by the way, quite poor design and it's quite awkward. This will obviously fall down because I've removed the bolt. But what you have here is a T30 screw, just right there. And that's what you have here is T30 screw, which holds this in place. So when you remove the screw, this panel will drop. So there you have it. It's as easy as that. Now all we need to do is remove the other side and we can gain access to the top of the shocks here. This is what I mean, this bolt here. It's badly corroded as uh, everything else on this van. So hopefully this will come out without any serious beating gonna get you in nice and close here so this is a long long bolt on the top 21 millimeter socket and we're gonna go on this side here I've dropped the spare tire so that gives me a little bit more access and you can see this bolt here this is again 21 millimeter and it's the same on the bottom as well you can see the condition of my shocks they're pretty bad and their over G replacement. It passes the test every year with no issues. As you can see, this is pretty bad. So I've decided to replace them. This should be easy enough. It's successful as well. 21 on both sides. And just the top here is gonna be a little bit more difficult, but it's not too bad. That's it, job done. So once we put a little bit of lifting pressure on the suspension, you can see the shock is much uh, much more loose. This is the bolt and that's the shock free to be released. Just push it down and you can then rotate it if you want it. And we can drop the suspension now. Clean up the threads as best as you can. We can't do much here because it's so badly rusted. But if you clean up at least the dirt, hopefully this will make it a tiny bit easier to remove.
I wanted to quickly show you the difference between the good and the bad spring. So clearly this one here is broken and this thin piece is missing. So we're going to be replacing both springs. But I just wanted to show you, when you first look at it, you're like, hmm, what is actually broken? Um, but clearly when you take them off, you can, you can see the damage.